Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on an 07 Chevy Tahoe. We will be showing you how to remove and replace your side view mirror if in case it is damaged or needs to be replaced. This is what the damaged part looks like here. It'll have some wires for the tilting mechanism to work and the heat for the mirror. First thing you'll have to do is remove your trim piece from here. That would be this piece that sits right, uh, leave something like that. It sits right in like that, your trim piece. You'll pop that out with a flathead. Underneath that trim piece, there's gonna be a insulating cushion. Goes right in there, pull that out. Um, secondly, you will try to, you will have to pull that door at least halfway. You don't have to take it all off. A um, Couple of trim pieces here, one trim piece there, one trim piece underneath there. And finally, the trim piece for your lock. Those trim pieces, one right here. Best way to get this one off would be with a utility knife because it's hard to pry something in there. So get your utility knife right in there, pry up. Same thing with your two other trim pieces here. Trim piece there. And trim piece here. Goes right in there. After you pull those trim pieces with a smaller flat head, just pry it in there. The thinner the better, they should just pop right out. There will be one bolt there, two bolts here. And as long as you don't put too much pressure on the door, you can just let it dangle. I've already disconnected. Uh, my two wires for heat and the tilt mechanism. Those are gonna sit underneath your uh, module here. It's gonna go right under there. So I like to take that up apart as well. Just a flathead screwdriver will do. It's easier to connect and disconnect. After you've gotten to that step, let's see, 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter socket um you might think this is kind of overkill for this but it just helps out it's a lot easier uh this is my milwaukee impact driver with a uh adapter for a socket and an extension handy little thing definitely my favorite name brand and um never lets me down works in the hot the cold um any weather, I highly recommend it. Uh, so 10 millimeter to take off your three bolts total here in the two underneath. From there, you can go ahead and pull your side view mirror off. Should come for the most part right out. Okay. And that's just going to have, like I said, the three. Where's the third one out there? Oh, there they go. One, two, three. And this is what they're going to look like here. Right there. And the last one is somewhere else. Anyways, you get the idea there. So since I have the other part ordered, I had a backup mirror that I had laying around. So here it is, driver's side. Not in the best condition, but it'll work to get us through this pinch. You 
you go ahead and put your wire through first. This little hole here. It's a lot easier than it looks. It's just hard to do it with one hand. There's gonna be a guide right guide right there that little black tab you're gonna put it in that top hole just sit right in just like that from there washing your nut go ahead and put the top one in first That'll hold it in, show you what I did there. Just reach over. Top washer at the top there. And then you can finish hand tightening first. The remaining two. Another thing I've done in the past is be careful when you're putting these in because if they fall down into the door frame, it's gonna be a nightmare to get that out. You're definitely gonna have to pull the door then, dig around with a magnet and get them out. It is doable, but save yourself a lot of work by just being a little more careful. Okay, make sure our sit and flee up. That'll tighten up. That'll be flush when I tighten it up. Put our, give these a quick tighten with your impact driver. Make sure your settings on the number one there. You don't want to bust your plastic bracket. tighten that in a minute that feels okay from there you're gonna hook up your wire through there, fish it through the back of this piece here, pull it through, there's a special designated spot right there, pull it through, once you're good there, pull it up, and it's going to be the third one from the front, third one from the front, right there, make sure it clicks, good to go down, these wires are out of the way here. Make sure they're not going to get pinched by anything. Specifically, that tab that's going to go right there. Okay, that looks good. It's okay. Give it a little encouragement there. Okay, a little encouragement goes a long way. We can go ahead and press this down. Just as easy as it went down, it'll come up. Next piece is your insulating piece here. That'll prevent drafts from coming through. Make sure you give everything a little tap. Make sure it's seated well on top here. That's important. All you do with this one, that little tab is you press it in. Now it's locked in. Just like that. Then we're gonna look for our 
10 millimeter screws. Got it here. We'll go there. Well, we started out by hand first. There we are. And then we will start these two are going right in there. Trim piece there after the bolts. Trim piece there. Uh, trim piece here. And you've replaced your side view mirror. Thanks for watching. If you have any other suggestions for me on how to do it easier or another method that you've used, write it in the comments. It may help somebody else out. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you.